Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe. Activate the notifications by clicking on that bell icon and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Why not? So I love to read throughout the year and my goal for this 2020 was to read one book per month. That didn't happen, but I did read four books. And I just want to talk about what I read. I'm very lucky because all these four goods were great reads and I would recommend them to anybody who loves to read. I love to read biographies because I like to know how people got to where they are now their journey so that's why I love to read them and the first one I read was Bad Boy by Eric Fischel now who's Eric Fischel well he is most known for his painting Sleepwalker I will put you a picture here so you can see it and then let me show you some more of his paintings that way you can take a look to see what kind of paintings he did I mean he's very super talented extremely talented I would say like what he does with color with form the way he paints bodies is just so perfect and I don't know, I, I wish I'd had a quarter of the talent that this guy had. The way he could, you know, recreate people and I don't know, they, his paintings always make you feel something. Whether you like it or not, they make you feel something and I just love that about him. But as he got older, I stopped liking his paintings as much. Like what he produced in his later years and even in this biography, as you get closer to the end, there's an air of arrogance that I can pick up. But it wasn't enough to turn me off and stop reading it. But yeah, towards the end, you can tell he's full of himself. Which, I mean, if you're as talented as he was, I mean, why not? I could pick up on it and it was uh, a little annoying, but he's just so talented. But I do feel that his work regressed as he got older, in my opinion. Now, the second book I read was the autobiography of Larry Rivers, who's also an artist. I'm not huge fan of his work. I'll show you um, some of his paintings that he did. I mean, the guy is skilled, but I, I mean, I don't really connect with his work. Not my thing, but I will say that this is the best one out of the four I'm going to talk about. This is the best one I've, I read. It's super entertaining and he's so candid. This is probably the most candid, most honest book I've read because he talks about things that are like, whoa, I can't believe you just said that and I can't believe you thought about it or even tried. There's a part where he tries, well, he tried, I think, more than once to, you know, do it with his mother-in-law. He gave his sister a nickel to get the same thing out of her. I mean, it is just really, really, really candid. <laughs> you won't believe how much stuff you're reading here. So it's very entertaining. It's very long too, but there's never a dull moment in this book. He is a very entertaining person to read. And he's a person that, you know, just evolved and he was a hot mess. And at the end, I don't know, I feel like he evolved and grew and became a better human being because they're at the beginning. Now the third one I read is My Vanishing Country by Bakari Sellers. Now this book was very educational and it, I was ignorant to a lot of things and this book kind of just put a lot of things in perspective and also cleared up a lot of things. Also very entertaining but I cried like two or three times in this one so I really do recommend this one by Bakari Sellers. Great autobiography. Or memoir I should say. And then the last one I read was Don't Fall In Love by Sam Morris who's an Instagrammer and also has an erotic website. So but this book also has poems and songs and things like that and it gives a glimpse of his life. It doesn't fully span throughout his life and when I finished it I was wanting more. I wanted more I guess I guess since I know he has an erotic website I wanted more talk about that and more stories about the people that are featured on his website. I've subscribed to it one, for one month and it's very, I mean, it's very tastefully done and it's, I mean, since I'm an art creator and maker and also I love all aspects of art, even erotic art, so when you order the book you get a discount for his website, so if you're into that you would enjoy that website for sure. I guess I had this perception of him that complete confidence and, you know, he oozes because if you see him on Instagram, he oozes confidence and sex appeal and all of that. And then to read this, it's like, hmm, he's just as, as insecure as the rest of us. But it's a very good book. So it did put him in a different light. So now I have like, I guess, I'm, I, guess uh, I can relate to him more. Because we're all in the inside, suffer from the same things. Insecurities, feelings of not being enough, feelings of like inadequacy and things like that. So it's, it's cool to see it that someone who you, I guess, think... They would ne they don't experience things like that. They're just as human as you are. So I think we forget that people who are in the public eye are just like we are in 
you know, they're just as vulnerable and as, and their feelings are easily hurt just like ours. So be nice to them. In fact, be nice to anybody who you're around with. So I do recommend these four biographies. All great reads if you're into biographies. Well, anyway, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this 2021, I would, I'm going to try again to go for a goal of one book per month. If you have any books autobiographies that you think I should read, put it down in the comments below. Biographies are my thing because I feel you can find inspiration from the people you read about. But anyway, that's all for today's video. Adios y bye.